You see, Parashat Tavu, Parashat Tavu Parashat Tavu talks about the blessing and the curses right before Rosh Hashanah. You don't want to make the right Shabbat before, because you don't want the curses, curses to be very close to Rosh Hashanah. To make it two weeks before, Tichlet Shana Bekirota. We want that the Shana, the word, should be finished with all of the curses, to start fresh. But Rosh Hashanah, the real meaning of Rosh Hashanah is fresh, it's the beginning of the year. And we know the Tzatu HaKadosh that the creation was not a line, line that goes further and further, it's a circle. So when we go on Rosh Hashanah, we got the creation, it's my much creation. Rosh Hashanah created the brand new person on Rosh Hashanah that we want. Therefore, it's a time to change, it's time to make it. A lot of times somebody has a dream of life that if I would have started my life, I would have done a lot of things differently. Is it possible? It becomes the dream of his life. In reality, Rosh Hashanah is a day that this, this dream becomes true. It's possible. Because today, Tichlat Ma'asecha, that you are created. And we, we, we will be given new Neshama, new Kovach, new power. But you absorb it the way that you want. It's like your waves are here. If you have a receiver, we receive it. We know not. If somebody tackle, if somebody really wants to be a new brand person, it becomes. If they're trying to get it, to do it, then it comes. Now, very interesting, 98 kilo, in Parashat of 49 is 98. Twice. 49 is, we have 50 shari bina, gates of understanding. 49, not a kilo, or not kilo, to take advantage from somebody, kilo, to elevate people, to understand better life, to be absorbing more blessings. That's kilo. No, in Parashat Bukhutai 49 is 98 double. Why? Because we made a print. Now we are responsible for each other. The so it's 49 becomes 98 cloud. Now, at the end of the cloud, though, the end that we finished up, we should touch on Yisrael on you. Hashem will return you back. Yisrael, the spirit will own you, the chips. But then Hashem will return you back to see what they wrote on the, on the way that I told you, not to see what they wrote. You should not repeat. Again, sing it. In other words, never that first thing. You go to this time. I told him, don't go to this time. You gotta go back. With my character, I'm sure I'm And over there, you, that you will be offered yourself to serve with my character. You will offer yourself to be sold. With my character, be sold. You will offer it, my character. You will offer yourself to be sold, Sham Loivecha, to your enemies. For slave and maid servant. Good. What's happening? You go back to Mishraim. I told you not to see Mishraim. And over there, you offer yourself to be sold. Ben Kone, nobody wants to buy you. Nobody wants to buy you. Ben Kone. Very interesting. Ben Kone. That's the way that Klaalot finishes. Now, with my character, at the same time, Yod Mokhrim, Lahem Le Abadim, Ben Kone, Kizra Lecha Hari Bikhtayom. Because they decree upon you that they're going to kill you. Nobody wants to buy you. Nobody wants to buy you. Interesting. We finish Klalu with nobody wants to buy it. Yeah. Although it is a, it's the depths of the Klalu. It's a really depths of Klalu are very dear for the common negative. So I, I could be hanging over you. You're going to eat the bastard of your children. The worst thing was said here. How come the highlight, the ending of Klalu is that you will offer yourself to be sold, nobody pays attention to you to buy you. There's no value. But why that should be the highlight of the curses? You know why? Because that is because of all of the clothes. You disvalue yourself. You sold yourself for everything came on your way. A temptation. Any, 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 any arrogancy, any jealousy, any value, any title, whatever that come on your came on your way, you disvalue yourself and you sold yourself to God instead of being Ebed of Hashem, maintaining yourself as the Ebed of Hashem to be committed to Hakadosh Baruch Hu, Whatever came, you sold yourself so cheap. You sold. You sold yourself. A person sells himself in the education of life. A little bit of time, you sell it. A little bit of jealousy, you sell it. A little bit of money, you sell it. A little bit 
you, you a person steps of all of the marks of life, integrity, loyalty. Why? Because of small price, because of small, small things that you gain. Therefore, the cloud are not taking advantage. It's the reality of what you did to yourself. You disbody yourself. When a person gives up himself, sells himself, what will come on his way? And he's ready to give his neshama el yona for a little bit haiva, little bit money, little bit things. What is he doing? He's disbodying himself. He's not worthing himself properly. Not a worth. Self-worth. You have a value in your life. You are children of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. You are servants of Hashem. We should not let that happen to us. Therefore, all of the cloud of this bring us to what the real Rafa in life is. In other words, the Midrash says that the Bakiba was used to make Rasha from all of the coats of the coat of all of the letters in Torah. Every coat on the letter, he made it Rasha. Halakha, what does cut mean? Cut in the edge of the leather. There is a crown, edge of the leather. But it's not the meaning cut. What does cut mean? A thorn. The Bakiba taught us when you find a thorn in life, that's the place that you grow from. From the thorn you grow. Hardship and difficulties in life he is there to make it grow. It's not there to take advantage from it. Rabbi Chaim says to say that no, we are we are Jews. We are like we are like gold mining people. You know they 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 discover gold. In other words, what happens to them, gold miners? They have to go to the mud. They you know they 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 they, they, they put exploding rock and go into the mud and become so dirty and so dirty. But when you look at their face, they are very happy. <laughs> You see such a dirty face, hands are dirty, the mud, and to a very dirty occasion, but this face shines. Why? Because they know through dirt they come to gold. They find true gems. Therefore, that's the purpose, that's the goal. Therefore, that's why. That's why the tuchachot of the Torah here is like that. Brings you to gems, brings you to real value of yourself. And that is that is something that we, we are looking for. Therefore, that is, that what it says, the eye has a black spot and white spot. Interesting. How do we see? From the white or black? We see from the black. Now, why there is white? If there is a black, we see from the black, why there is white? Because what I thought it says, the white represents the happiness of life. Black is dark. Dark moment of life. But so I want to say the real heart of a life of a person is the dark time of a person. When the things go dark, real power of a person comes out. Reality of a person comes out. That is the highlight of a person's life. In other words, the eye, a person sees through dark, through dark, what you see through dark, what you see and you achieve through darkness of life. And understand how God is who that's why I had a reader all the time. Why do we put the feeling on the left hand? Left hand is the weaker hand. The feeling is tiny about Shbarhu. Should do it on the right hand. Why do the left hand? Left hand is the weaker hand. And it's interesting that we have two eyes, two nostrils, two lips. One is not stronger than the other one, not necessarily two ears, but the hands, one is stronger than the other one. Left is the weaker hand. But most of the things the person has with the right hand. How about to say, from your weakness, you tie up your people in your life. Not the, not the time that you are strong and you have everything going well with you. From that time, you tie up the feeling. The role of the cloud load is a, is a, is a occasion to get us to brachot of life. Or who just testing us to get us to the, to that emuna, that bitachon that we have, in the dark moment of life becomes the highlight of, la highlight of our life 